All right. All right, let's go. Let's go. It's the final edition of the stove for this winter. Drop the luxury taxes and everything else. We're fans, right? That yeah, spin doing. it. I, I think Blake Snell's going to pop up right here. One last set of spins on the hot stove free agent slot machine. Here we go. How did you come up with the We've been Snell's calling it that for years. Not allowed to hit through seven. It's not San surprised. Diego Blake tonight. Snell, where do you put him? Give me one team. Give me a home. Give me a suitor. I got the Giants. Okay. San Fran or Seattle. Those are the two teams, but I'll, I'll say Giants because I said them first. I just think the price tag is coming to that point. I, I, you know, they started floating around, what, three years. It's really one with two option years, right? That's what I think he's going to end up with. Here are the numbers. Uh, I mean, we don't need the refresher course, but again, for those of you who feel compelled to look at it, it is, again, we're talking about an elite pitcher here. You don't want and to if, hit, if there's a down year there, you know, the 19 to 22, what we're trying to, to, to punch there is that he was good then. He was still good. Yeah. He wasn't otherworldly good like he was last year and back in 2018. So even when it isn't perfect for him, he's still really good. You, you want my sleeper? Angels. The shocker? Angels. Dodgers. Ugh. After the Dylan Cease move, everything else, Yamamoto scuffled a little bit this spring. Kershaw's not back yet. Bauer's not back. I mean, uh, um, Kershaw and no, Bueller. Bueller's not mm -hmm. back yet. Hmm. <laughs> Please tell me that's not fake hmm. news. I hope that's fake news. Hmm. Honestly. Hmm. Okay. All right. I don't know. Uh, let's spin it again. Let, who else are we going <laughs> to land at the Dodgers? <laughs> Got him swinging. Big strikeout yeah. for yeah. Jordan Montgomery. Jordan Montgomery. Uh, I, you could make the case for the Rangers. You could make the case for the Yankees now with what we know about Garrett Cole. You could make the case for just about all the other 28 teams in baseball. Give me one. Give me a home for him. Wow. I'm torn between two. Is that okay? I, it's all right. I, I can see him going back to the Rangers, which I hope happens. I think he fits there great. But I, I'm, I'm hearing that his wife is from Boston. So Spent that, the offseason there. That would be a comfortable move for him as well to go to the Red Sox. But are they ready for that where they're at? Those yeah, are my two teams. Uh, I'm going to say no to Boston. I don't know yeah. that uh, they're that anxious to replace the injured Lucas Giolito because I don't know that – if they were all lined up to win a World Series – Then you, you say yeah. Then they go for it. They push their chips in. But I think they're taking a look at some youth and some other things. Um, I, I, with, with Snell, as hard as it is to understand why he's unsigned, it might be even harder to understand why this guy's unsigned. I just don't get it. I just don't – I don't understand what they're waiting for at this point. Yeah. Because now you're into potentially diminishing returns with guys not being in camp, not throwing. And every pitcher that I've ever spoken to about sitting out this long says the same thing. It's not the same when you're home throwing a bullpen, doing a bullpen and doesn't, doing your own program. Work. And you get into now all of a sudden you, you've got to ramp up and you get into the game. And yeah. there's a difference. You are now coming in. By the time these two are ready to pitch in a major league game, right. hitters are now caught up to you. What about this? What about this suggestion? For Jordan Montgomery. The Twins have a new explosive weapon. Mm -hmm. The Twins. Why not? Why not? All right. Spin well, it one more time. Hmm. That's my sleeper for I, I hope Jordan Montgomery goes back to the Rangers. Yeah, I'd like that. I'd like to see yeah. that, too. Distribute the uh, the wealth. Oh, my goodness. What? Wow. J.D. Martinez is still out there, too. Holy smokes. Forgot uh, about J.D. Oh, yeah. He's still out there. I thought uh, Toronto would have been a nice fit for him. In fact, I, Toronto with they added two dudes essentially all winter long and seemed to be a bridesmaid in every discussion. Where for J.D. Martinez, Harold? Wow. I had Arizona all the time, but they went and signed. Uh, they got a few people there now. Um, J.D. would be great. A lot of teams. There's a lot of clubs that can use some offense. Um, the Mets are scuffling, man. He'd be great in New York. That was the place that I thought it would uh, end up, and it hasn't happened yet. You could also kind of speculate about younger lineups that could rotate him in and out of a DH spot. 
teams that look like they're ready for the postseason battle. What about a place like Cincinnati for him? Cincinnati would be great. 35, yeah, that's 40 what I said. Cincinnati. Everywhere, everywhere, that ballpark for him in Cincinnati, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. how he shoots that ball to right field. Veteran guy. I'm, I'm not sure a, a young team wants to kind of, quote, unquote, clog up their DH spot yeah. with a, a veteran guy. But, again, another guy who's somehow out there unsigned. Here we are, March 15th, still having this discussion.